Paul Kahn, Chief Engineer on Ops. Y'all select the landing. We're on the moon. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lander has just made history, becoming the first commercial lunar lander to achieve a fully successful moon landing on March 2nd. And among those applauding this groundbreaking achievement, none other than SpaceX CEO Elon Musk himself. What left him stunned was the shocking new footage of Blue Ghost's lunar touchdown, revealed for the first time. Get ready to witness history unfold in today's Tech Map episode. Anyway, our next goal is 100,000, and we need your support to get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. We appreciate your help. Thank you. Last weekend, Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost lander etched its name into the history books, becoming just the second private spacecraft to achieve a soft landing on the moon and to achieve a fully successful moon landing. Touching down in the Mare Crisium, Sea of Crises, region on Sunday, March 2nd, the Texas-based company wasted no time in showcasing its achievement. Within just 30 minutes of landing, Blue Ghost began transmitting images back to Earth. The first, a striking selfie, was partially veiled by the sun's glare. The second revealed a breathtaking view of the lunar surface with Earth rising on the horizon, featuring Blue Ghost's solar panel, X-band antenna, and Lexi payload. The final image captured the lander's shadow stretching across the moon's surface, a quiet but powerful testament to the success of this mission. To add to the excitement, Firefly Aerospace has recently revealed stunning footage captured by the lander. It provides some incredible details, including high-rising clouds of lunar dust kicked up by Blue Ghost's thrusters as the lander neared the surface. Touchdown occurred with the sun low in the lunar sky, giving us all great views of Blue Ghost's shadow as the lander settled into its new home. The video opens at a pivotal moment. Firefly Aerospace's Blue Ghost, Lunar Lander, is executing a critical nine-minute braking burn, slowing from a blistering 1,700 meters per second to just 40 as it prepares for its historic moon landing. Every engine is engaged, from the powerful main thruster to the precise reaction control system, RCS engines, working in perfect sync to bring the lander safely to its target. At this moment, Blue Ghost is fully autonomous, relying on D'Souza guidance, a model similar to the guidance used during the Apollo moon missions, to position itself above the target landing site and pitch over from a horizontal to a vertical orientation. In Firefly's control center in Austin, Texas, the tension is palpable. Engineers and mission specialists watch in silence as Blue Ghost enters the pitch over maneuver a delicate tilting motion that aligns it parallel to the lunar surface, mere hundreds of meters above the moon. The lander's speed has slowed dramatically, but the final descent is the most treacherous part. This is the moment of truth. During the final descent, the main engines shut down. Blue Ghost switches to its Spectre RCS thrusters, small, precise thrusters for attitude control and translation, making micro-adjustments to ensure a gentle, one meter per second touchdown. Its vision navigation system is scanning the barren lunar terrain in Mare Crisium, analyzing slopes, craters, and boulders to find the safest landing zone. Then, confirmation. Firefly later reveals that the lander performed two separate last-minute obstacle avoidance maneuvers to steer clear of hazardous rocks, showcasing the brilliance of its autonomous navigation. As Blue Ghost inches closer, its thrusters kick up clouds of lunar regolith, a mesmerizing display of dust swirling beneath its legs. The spacecraft's shadow looms larger and larger, signaling that the moment is near. Then, at precisely 2.34 a.m. CST on March 2nd, Firefly Aerospace sticks the landing. A voice breaks through the tension. You all stuck the landing. Cheers erupt in the control center. Firefly CEO Jason Kim delivers the moment's perfect closing remark. We got some moon dust on our boots. 
Blue Ghost has not only aced its precision landing within its targeted 100-meter zone, but it has also set down next to Mons Le Trail, a volcanic formation on the moon's near side. Its shock-absorbing legs ensure a stable touchdown, and inertial readings confirm the lander is upright and in optimal condition. Now, from Firefly's Mission Operations Center in Cedar Park, Texas, the real work begins. Blue Ghost is awake, fully operational, and ready to make history on the lunar surface. Among those applauding Firefly's achievement was none other than Elon Musk, who offered a simple but meaningful acknowledgement. Congrats! Musk's SpaceX is also deeply invested in lunar exploration, developing the Starship Human Landing System, HLS, for NASA's Artemis III mission. This initiative, part of NASA's ambitious Artemis program, aims to return humans to the Moon's South Pole region with advanced landing systems and next-generation spacesuits. The successful landing of Blue Ghost is far more than just a milestone for Firefly Aerospace. It represents a significant leap forward in humanity's return to the Moon. The mission advances key technologies in autonomous landing navigation and surface operations, providing critical data on lunar conditions such as radiation levels, dust dynamics, and surface composition. These insights are essential for designing future lunar habitats, equipment, and infrastructure needed for sustainable human exploration. Moreover, Blue Ghost highlights the growing strength of NASA's collaboration with private space companies. Under the Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS, initiative, NASA is leveraging private sector innovation to reduce costs and accelerate lunar exploration efforts. This model paves the way for a more sustainable lunar presence, bringing us closer to a future where human activity on the moon is no longer a distant dream, but an achievable reality. It is great that we keep getting sharper and sharper images of dirt on the moon with each new voyage. The venture of Firefly's Blue Ghost definitely marks the beginning of a new era in space exploration. This is more than a mission. It's a milestone. Somewhere beyond the stars, the pioneers of spaceflight, past and present, are watching, their spirits soaring with pride. And here on Earth, humanity gazes upward in awe knowing that this is just the beginning of what's to come. Bravo, Firefly! The journey continues. Let's celebrate this historic triumph together. Drop a Bravo, Firefly! in the comments below and let the world know you're witnessing the dawn of a new space age. Blue Ghost launched into space on January 15th aboard a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, carrying 10 science and technology experiments for NASA. The lander's mission is part of the agency's Commercial Lunar Payload Services CLPS, program, which puts NASA science equipment on private lunar landers. The goal is to collect more data cost-effectively before Artemis astronauts arrive on the lunar surface in the coming years. The 10 NASA science and technology instruments aboard the lander will operate on the lunar surface for approximately one lunar day, or about 14 Earth days. This incredible achievement demonstrates how NASA and American companies are leading the way in space exploration for the benefit of all," said NASA Acting Administrator Janet Petro. We have already learned many lessons, and the technological and science demonstrations on board Firefly's Blue Ghost Mission 1 will improve our ability to not only discover more science, but to ensure the safety of our spacecraft instruments for future human exploration, both in the short term and long-term. Since launching from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida on January 15th to March 2nd, Blue Ghost traveled more than 2.8 million miles, downlinked more than 27 gigabytes of data, and supported several science operations. This included signal tracking from the Global Navigation Satellite System GNSS, at a record-breaking distance of 246,000 miles with the Lunar GNSS Receiver Experiment Payload, showing NASA can use the same positioning systems on Earth when at the Moon. Science conducted during the journey also included radiation-tolerant computing through the Van Allen belts, 
with the radiation-tolerant computer system payload and measurements of magnetic field changes in space with the lunar magnetotelluric sounder payload. The science and technology we send to the moon now helps prepare the way for future NASA exploration and long-term human presence to inspire the world for generations to come," said Nikki Fox, Associate Administrator for Science at NASA headquarters in Washington. We're sending these payloads by working with American companies, which supports a growing lunar economy. During surface operations, the NASA instruments will test and demonstrate lunar subsurface drilling technology, regolith sample collection capabilities, global navigation satellite system abilities, radiation-tolerant computing, and lunar dust mitigation methods. The data captured will benefit humanity by providing insights into how space weather and other cosmic forces impact Earth. Before payload operations conclude, teams will aim to capture imagery of the lunar sunset and how lunar dust reacts to solar influences during lunar dust conditions, a phenomenon first documented by former NASA astronaut Eugene Cernan on Apollo 17. Following the lunar sunset, the lander will operate for several hours into the lunar night. Jason Kim, CEO of Firefly Aerospace, expressed, On behalf of our entire team, I want to thank NASA for entrusting Firefly as their lunar delivery provider. Blue Ghost's successful moon landing has laid the groundwork for the future of commercial exploration across his lunar space. We're now looking forward to more than 14 days of surface operations to unlock even more science data that will have a substantial impact on future missions to the Moon and Mars. As of March 2nd, five vendors have been awarded 11 lunar deliveries under CLPS and are sending more than 50 instruments to various locations on the Moon, including the Lunar South Pole. Existing CLPS contracts are indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contracts with a cumulative maximum contract value of $2.6 billion through 2028. Success often leads to further success. On March 4, NASA continued to award Firefly Aerospace a fixed-price NASA's Venture Class Acquisition of Dedicated and Rideshare VADR, contract for a dedicated alpha launch of the agency's investigation of convective updrafts INCAS mission from NASA's Wallops Flight Facility in Virginia. As part of NASA's Earth System Science Pathfinder program, INCAS is a NASA Earth Venture mission with three satellites that will study why, when, and where tropical storms form to help advance climate change models. Once deployed, three INCAS satellites will fly in tight coordination to study the behavior of tropical storms and thunderstorms including how storm systems form, evolve, and dissipate. According to NASA, each satellite will have a high-frequency precipitation radar that observes rapid changes in convective cloud depth and intensities. One of the three satellites also will carry a microwave radiometer to provide the spatial content of the larger-scale weather observed by the radars. By flying so closely together, the satellites will use the slight differences in when they make observations to apply a novel time-differencing approach to estimate the vertical transport of convective mass. The INCAS mission will launch from the Mid-Atlantic Regional Spaceport Pad 0A at NASA's Wallops Flight Facility that supports both Alpha and Firefly's medium launch vehicle. INCAS will be Firefly's third Alpha launch for NASA, the first launched successfully last summer and the second is scheduled from Vandenberg Space Force Base for NASA Quicksounder in 2026. Firefly's Alpha rocket is the only commercially operational launch vehicle dedicated to serving the one metric ton satellite market. The flight-proven vehicle provides responsive, reliable, and cost-competitive launch services directly to customers' preferred orbits.